Fishermen, they have also told us that a lot of freshwater fish species have, uh, uh, you know, started breeding in the river, which people usually don't eat, and it is affecting the normal saline uh, water fish. So that is also a drawback you know, because of this particular water weed that is going in the river. Your name, please. I am Sangam Absika. You're from you local. Sangam Absika has done from, a complete yeah. survey, and he's gone along the river line, and he's seen where the things are. They even identify spots where uh, water, fresh water, is being released from the canal, which leakages is allowing this. See, if you Google it, you can check up the cause of this. One of the causes is uh, salinity drops. If there's high salinity, we don't have this problem. So when the salinity drops and you get fresh water, this will be one of the causes for uh, allowing this kind of. Uh, it looks nice at the moment, but then it starts choking everything, and then there will be flooding also with the. So the main problem, uh, so water hyacinth, you can see, it's it's literally it's like a field. It's it's a plant. It's a it's a, it's a water plant. Okay, that that multiplies almost overnight. So you might choose to clean like a part of it, okay, at one time, but after another two months or three months, it's back again. So if if we have to clean it or take it on as a project, it has to be done all or nothing. You know, so the problem, the two very big problems it causes is number one because it forms like a field, like a bed over the river. You don't have sunlight, natural sunlight, which is penetrating the water, and you don't have oxygen. So what happens is that the fish, it, it slowly, it slowly starts to die. You don't see dead fish. You just don't see so many fish. And this, uh, this is already documented by the local fishermen. They're already complaining about not having enough catch that they would have years ago. So it's not a problem that has come overnight. It's 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 been accumulating literally over years. So like Mr. Carlos said, a problem of salinity. That's the number one problem that has been identified that's causing this issue. So there's a lot more uh, fresh water that's entering a, a salt water river. You know, so it's changing the entire pH balance of the river. Okay, so uh, two problems. One, fish are dying, and the second is that the fishermen, the local fishermen of Moira, Bastora. Maps are not even able to navigate themselves. Okay, what kind of catch? I mean, they, they they rely on the river for sustenance, for life, for nutrition, and that's not happening. So another, I mean, uh, the citizens of Moira, Bastora, Aldona constituency, uh, as a whole, we met up. I mean, we've been doing a lot of meetings. Thanks, Mr. Carlos. Okay, we've been doing literally late night uh, Zoom meetings. We've been doing uh, meetings with the help of Moira Panchayat. Thanks to uh, you know Sarpanch of uh, Moira and also uh, Deputy Sarpanch, uh, which is Aussie. And they've already started a little bit of cleaning, but we're trying to 
we're trying to uh, let's say uh, create a, a way a project a way forward maybe short term solution maybe medium term solution and long term solution to deal with the river project when we uh, when we started investigating this this matter i mean you can see it you know you can see visually the kind of trouble it's causing and then when we all came together so citizens i mean a brilliant bunch of people ecologists environmentalists agroecologists people who are from uh, goa locals from goa people who are even foreigners people who are uh, recently who have moved to goa so it's a really mixed and a varied bunch that all are coming together to identify this problem so when we uh, when we discussed hyacinth the the water pest okay this plant pest we realized that there are actually much bigger problems that are plaguing our rivers which is plastic waste or microplastics so slowly we're trying to address these problems one at a time first of course uh, we need to deal with the problem that we can see with our eyes okay which is the water hyacinth and then with the help of mr carlos we're trying to look at it as a larger bigger problem which it is 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 uh, plastic waste you know and also and then we realized because so many field owners came for the meeting uh, especially like mr kaitonde uh, he yes, mentioned sir. that yeah that even his field was affected by it so that that's pretty much what it what's your recommendation um i mean we're coming together as a group as a team you know and uh, i think uh, very soon we'll come up with 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 short term medium term and long term plans but i think the goal for everybody what we discussed here is policy we need a strong policy to protect the river especially since the mapsa river is a nationalized river which is what uh, mr carlos advised us we also i want your name please madam yeah yeah your name please beverly beverly, beverly mendes what yeah. is the root cause of this now yeah. so sir yeah. wait i'll just say one more thing i have also with beverly is help with beverly I already spoken to the navy i also spoke to them yesterday yeah. the captain of the ins mandovi Uh, they are also willing to come on board and help us so i think if you can get all the agencies which can come and help even many companies probably will come forward you know industries and all that we can work on a war footing and we can say it's we can start with this as a mapsa river as a project and we can see how it goes on remember one more thing that even the waste what we collect out what we remove from here that can be recycled also there's a options for recycling so that is not what we are looking right now but then we immediately we require to before the monsoon before code of conduct comes into force before the panchayat elections you know all this kind of uh, red tapeism may start coming in and we may have a bottleneck so we tend to work with little speed and we can get the work done on the ground and i am very grateful that we have real experts i had to do research you know quick uh, google searches but we have real experts like dr gaitun day mr yeah. talwar is yeah, here also the talwar is here around he can come and many others well the french lady also she is not come like eminent people who are in the field who have done lot of research who are with us on the team and uh, they are also giving their suggestions and contributions people are also you see uh, beverly you can tell them about 700 kg of uh, waste which was removed sangam i think you yeah yeah so it was it was a it was a local group called kojao it's a company that organizes uh, based in moira a company that organizes tours of moira bastora aldona constituency and so it's so beautiful that that small companies within our constituency uh, are are doing their own bit for csr are, are doing their own bit for the environment so recently they conducted like a clean up okay of the river and uh, they collected 700 kg of garbage you know both uh, bottle glass bottle as well as plastic garbage and that is that is probably just 0.00 something percent of the actual dirt which is in our waters so it's frightening <laughs> the problem you are sending this proposal to government yes we will uh, that is why we have called the officials here because then i don't want it to be either overlapping or each one saying it's not my uh, jurisdiction or not my uh, this thing so and they have been very cooperative and uh, wrd officials wrd yes i know you're captain of captain of boats Uh, WRD officials have already told me that they have conducted the survey. As far as this stretch is concerned, which goes on from the bridge onwards up to Giri, because you must have also seen when you travel along, it's already being choked. It's already you can't make out where's the water and which is the field. So that is what is happening, and uh, so this is destroying our natural habitat, our environment. And I think we need to take this on a war footing. What's your inspection report now? No, we are going to conduct inspection. We just started that. In fact, we got already what people had done before. But it is better that you have a hands-on to see how it grows fast. And by the way, this water hyacinth grows at a high, rapid speed. It's not like it's. Uh, it 
just starts growing very fast in leaps and bounds. Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 put it on. Where are you going to be?